hello guys welcome to my another video tutorial in this video I am gonna teach you how you can download and install SQL Server 2017 I'm using Windows 10 and I wanna download and install SQL Server 2017 so let's get started to download and install SQL Server 2017 the first step you need to open your favorite browser and search on the browser SQL Server 2016 download sorry I need to write the 17 no problem okay you need to click on the first link has appeared on the google uh, with the name of microsoft.com slash en sql server 2017 in this page you are able to see many uh, links and many other features available you need to click on just a download in this page you are able to see three options i mean three uh, links available the free trial evaluation developer edition express edition so i want to download the developer editions uh, 2007 sql server so i just click on the download now and select the location or path i want to select the location or path for example desktop start then you are able to see the setup will appear on my desktop then we will be able to run the setup of SQL Server. Okay, so I close it, close it, and go to desktop. Okay, you can see it. Double click on it and click to yes. You need to wait a couple of seconds to display the three options like uh, basic, custom, and also download video. So I select the download media because I want to download the SQL Server 2017. So I select the download media. In this page you are able to see language and which package would you like to download. The first package is .iso file and second is compressmedia.exe file. So I want to download that ASO sorry ISO file or KB, uh, do you want to download anyone as you like? but I select the ISO file and select the location or path as you want to download the SQL server setup right and click to just uh, download but I don't need to download it because I have already downloaded the SQL server setup I go to my D drive backup and SQL server and yeah, this is a uh, my setup so I just double click on it and then you need to extract the setup yes you need to select the location or path as you want to extract the setup for example I browse the location and select the desktop ok and click to ok then we will be able to see this folder will appear on the desktop ok so I just double click on it after extracting the setup then you will be able to see this folder in this folder you will be able to see the setup of the SQL server like this you need to double click on it and click to yes you need to wait a couple of seconds to display the installation process will appear on my screen like this now in this page you are able to see guys more than four options like uh, new SQL Server install SQL Server management tool install SQL Server data tool and upgrade the SQL Server if you have any previous version you can use upgrade from previous version otherwise you need to select the first link and then wait a couple of seconds guys now you need to wait a couple of seconds to get the information updates etc then you will be able to see the many features will appear on your screen ok now click to next and then wait a couple of seconds now those options will uh, basically get from internet which uh, when you will be download or uh, you will be install right now guys you can see here the firewall uh, option 
error has appeared but don't worry you need to select uh, click to next button now in this page you are able to see perform a new installation of SQL Server if you have already installation or exist name you need to select another name but I haven't installed new so I select the perform a new installation and click to next I accept and next and then you need to select the location or path as you want to install the SQL Server. The default location or path is C program files Microsoft SQL Server. Do you want to change it? You can just click on dot signs and select the location or path as you want to download. I mean install SQL Server. I close it and click to next. And then you need to wait a couple of seconds then you will be able to see many other options like this option don't change anything else just click to okay now do you want to change the name you can do it but I don't change the name okay click to next now finally few steps will be required then we will be able to see the SQL Server installation or running now don't change anything else just click next in this page you are able to see the password if you want to enter the password then you will be able to enter the password after installation of SQL Server yeah, you can see it the Windows authentication mode and then Windows mode do you want to enter the password after login the SQL Server so you need uh, I mean you need to enter the password and confirm password but I prefer you need to enter select the Windows authentication mode then you will be able to uh, perform the operations like uh, create another user and assign the role and also assign the password right click to Windows authentication mode and click to next install only only just to write the install okay and accept and then you need to wait a couple of seconds guys okay next now installation is process you need to wait a couple of minutes it will take a minimum 10 to 15 minutes then you will be able to see the SQL Server installation will be completed now guys wait a couple of seconds so I pause the video then I will teach you how you can uh, I mean do that okay now guys once the installation has been run then you need to close the I mean setup and then you need to download and install SQL Server management tool which will use to run the SQL Server queries so you need to click on it and then you will be able to see the download option appeared on this page just a minute couple of seconds now guys you can see here download SQL Server Main Studio 70.4 okay click on it and then you are able to see the size of the SQL Server Management Studio and select the locational path and click to download but I don't need it because I have already downloaded I go to my SQL Server version and this is a SSM setup you need to double click on it and then wait a couple of seconds to load the setup and then you will be able to run the SQL Server Management Studio okay you need to click yes and then wait a couple of seconds guys that's very simple process to download and install SQL Server okay now wait click to install now it will take a uh, few minutes it depends on your internet speed so I when I install it so it will take a um, minimum 10 minutes to 20 minutes so I pause the video then I will come back 
then I will teach you how you can do that the next step now guys once the installation has been completed then you need to restart your computer so I just click to restart then I will teach you how you can open the SQL server management studio now guys once the computer has been restarted then you need to search on the I mean search box SSM now guys you can see here Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 17 available under the drop down or search box you need to just click on it and then you need to wait a couple of seconds to open the SQL Server now guys just a minute okay now Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio v70.2 2017 Microsoft and then you will be able to use Microsoft SQL Server like this okay just uh, click to browse database engine select the username and just click connect okay now guys select the query and then you will be able to use the queries to store the data in the database right guys the all about okay now I just write the query create database tutorials now guys you can see here database name is already exist tutorial okay select now that's it use tutorial database select and use Ok guys so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel for getting updates have a nice day.